Hey, welcome back to the internet. I had a subscriber ask, uh, will this uh, K40 do hardwood? So we're going to go ahead and crank the power all the way to 11, and we're going to give it a shot. We got uh, poplar. We have mahogany, oak, bass plywood, basswood, hickory, and 3mm and 5mm varieties. Uh, so let's give this a shot. We got some paper down underneath the laser here. Uh, so hopefully we'll see when we're burning through, but we're just we're going to assume it's going to take at least three, probably six passes to get anything through. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so this should be a one inch by one inch square. Four passes in three millimeter bass. 993, call it four to seven thou less than it should be, so that's, uh, what, two thou curve or something like that? Three millimeter bass, good to go. Four passes, and it drops right out. Let's go with poplar. Okay, that was uh, two to three passes and three mil poplar. And our one inch square is 991 to 992. Okay, off eight thou, so that's four thou per curve for three mil pop, 3.2 millimeter poplar. Let's try 5.4 millimeter poplar. So five mil poplar took uh, five passes, about the same amount of kerf. So five thou worth of kerf. You can, if you can see that there. There's an angle, and that's the kerf. A lot of energy is expended here on these side walls up above, and so there's less. It's less con. If you think of it as a cone, as he, as it gets deeper and deeper, the cone gets smaller and smaller, and so you get this angle piece. Uh, so it's about one inch. on the curve and on the on the high end and on the low end call it 986 so you'll have to take that into account if you wanted to use this for structural applications if it's just uh, signs or whatnot you're probably fine so five, poplar thumbs up for poplar five passes let's do hickory that's a it's not something everybody does right baseball bats All right, I'm going to go ahead and that was six passes, and we're left with this, and we can break it out. So probably another pass might have done it. It appears that hickory due to its internal nature, is probably going to be resistant to our efforts here. So I don't think we're going to go into the 5 mil just yet. Um, yeah, this one, a lot more curve, a lot more charcoal. Uh, I'd stay away from hickory. Mahogany! This should be fun. Who doesn't like mahogany? This is some cool wood. It's ultra light. I'm surprised. Oh, this is cutting like butter. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> I like that. 990. Thunderbirds are go. Alright, 5 mil mahogany. Let's try that. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Oh, that's pretty awesome. Look at that. Mahogany. Like butter. Alright, got 991. So about 10 thou worth of kerf. Mahogany. Thumbs up for cutting with the K40. Seal of approval. Alright, now let us see what we shall see with this oak. Wow. Alright. Four passes through three millimeter oak. Not too shabby. Alright. 990. 994. Alright, so pretty standard. So oak. Three mil. Four passes. Thumbs up. So as long as you don't mind taking some time, you can go through it. Um Okay, 5.6 millimeter oak. Alright, that was 12 passes, so I'm going to go ahead and give up on it. But uh, she's also right at the point of breaking free, so we might have gotten away with, with 8. So, 5.6 millimeter oak. Uh, not as awesome as we would like it to be. And that's, that's a bit of a pity. Depending on what you do, you, do, you might be able to break it free. Oh, sorry, we're an inch Put it back in inches. 993, 991. So, most of the way through, and a little too, maybe a little charred. What if we're just burning the smoke at that point? Um, yeah. So, just to uh, show I'm not cheating, 5.66 millimeter. And then uh, on the other 3 millimeter oak. 3.3, so, and then, let's see, no cheating. All right, what have we said? What have we proved here in all this? What we proved is that, well, each wood is different depending on what it's made of. This here is some Chinese elm. It is 2.46 millimeter, and... So far, the most that we've ever had um, in terms of per pass is four passes uh, on the oak for it to drop through. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick as a comparison. I found this stuff to be incredibly tough. Now something I think you'll notice, the reflection off of this thing is immense. So I think there's something in the wood that causes most of the energy from the laser to be bounced back. So that was eight passes, full strength, same settings as everything else, and golly, it is going nowhere fast with this. I mean, it's, I, we could put this on the space shuttle I think as reflector. Yeah, so this material right here, this Chinese elm, this is what I originally start, tried cutting on when I first start, got this laser engraver, and I thought, crap, it can't cut wood for, for anything. Uh, this is pointless. So I, I never actually tried. I just used, uh, I cut some foam board with it for plane projects, but that's it. So uh, the, all I'm trying to say with this is the material matters, how it burns, how, it ex how the material... Uh, comes off as smoke, 
Um, you know, does it vaporize? Does it burn? Does it melt? This is just chars, and yeah, well, you, you you can see all that, and we barely like here. I can snap it because of the grain, but yeah, you can see all that, and we barely touch the surface of this stuff. If it ever comes down to laser warfare, coat your house in this. What we have here is Purple Heart 8.1 millimeter, well, 8, we'll call it 8 millimeter. 8 millimeters worth, uh, that is, because I'm lazy, 3.2, so almost 3 eighths of an inch thick. Purple Heart, which is most certainly a hardwood. We're going to do the same test. This is going to be uh, 20 millimeters uh, per minute and full bore all the power, all the milliamps uh, this thing can suffer. So here we go. I'm fairly confident, given the smoke we were seeing coming out the bottom here, that we could probably snap this off with our finger. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and rerun this uh, so we can get a good idea of the complete number of passes needed. That's 18 passes at 20 millimeters uh, per second. Given as how I've just bumped this, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Oh yeah, she's just hanging on by a, just look at right there, just barely. Oh yeah, that took nothing. You can see that's all that was holding on. You can kind of actually see based on the, the little bits of uh, natural colored wood there what was exactly was holding on so it was just a couple pieces three eighths thick and throw a little sandpaper on her cleans right up and very smooth actually this is a 220 grit nothing special just to prove this isn't a, a stand-in for something else, right? Like I'll, I'll try to do the old thumbnail test for hardwood. Yeah, barely made a dent in it. How close are we to an inch? 983. That is not surprising. So, the deeper down we go, the more burns away, I guess moral to that story. Well, what am I saying? I sanded that side. <clears throat> I mean, yes, uh, so 978 on the sanded side, 993 on the unsanded side. Kerf is pretty reliable, all in all, even on these deeper depths, because in the end, it's the very tiniest portion of the beam that's breaking through, uh, and this top part's charring and burning away. I guess the only thing we haven't done is 6.26 millimeter bass. I think after this we're gonna call her quits because uh, I'm not sure where we can go from here. And that last pass, I think, did it. There we go. Eight millimeter bass. Uh, took eight passes. Yep, so... About ten thou of... Curve five thou per side. And this is uh, basswood. 
pretty typical hobby stuff. So after all of our extensive testing, we have come to the conclusion that, yes, poplar, pretty freaking awesome to cut with your laser. You can do uh, 5.4 millimeter pretty reasonably. Uh, bass, and eh, a little less so, but it is 6.26, but I don't have to thin it down. It came this way. I think it's quarter inch. Uh, three millimeter bass, cuts like a dream. Same with the poplar, uh, three millimeter. Uh, oak is a bit of a problem child, 5.6, took 12 passes and we still had to break it free. Um, hickory, a little better. Mahogany, cuts like a dream, both the 5 and the 3. Uh, leaves, a, leaves decent results, doesn't uh, damage the wood too much in terms of, uh, you know, schmoo coming out of it. But yeah, oak, 3 millimeter oak, might have to do something with this. That's, that's structurally enough, especially if you... Uh, if you start, you know, interlocking it with joints and whatnot. And you can see here on this 3.2 millimeter oak that we got a good way through on just one pass on that aborted pass. I mean, enough that I can, just with my fingers here, start breaking it. Yeah, you can see there. It got about halfway through in one pass on the 3 millimeter oak. The problem is, is that the deeper you go, um, the more energy gets consumed by the sidewall plus the smoke escaping I think gets burned out and diffuses the beam uh, so possibly if you had air assist to blow the smoke out of the way you might do better than what I'm doing but this is completely stock there's absolutely nothing done to this machine I'm using Moshi Draw, and we're doing about 22 milliamps uh, so we're at full bore uh, nothing done no special modifications to the head or anything hopefully all of this and me smoking out my house <coughs> uh, has uh, helped you guys and uh, if you liked it go ahead and uh, give me give it a thumbs up leave a like comment whatever love to hear from you guys let me know what you think